welcome back one and all pro spot and gamer with pez 2016 and the everton world league league we made up of not perhaps the creme de, de la month of football teams but just underneath and we're not doing very well we're 13th out of 16 teams we've had shocking run of it really um i think it's only one win well we've only won two in total from eight games which is absolute dire dog shit um and we are up against into Milan today, who are fourth and have only well we've been pretty decent. Acardi is a top goal scorer as well, as you can see with seven there. So let's see what we're gonna do, um, game plan wise and everything else who's available. Funes Mori missing, Tim Howard missing. No great shakes there. Joel Joel was a little bit better on the game, but he's not. Um Jackie Elko after coming in the middle. We were toying with the idea of playing three across the back today, but that's probably snookered that idea now. Um, we are going to bring Yarmolenko in, and i tell you why we're going to bring Yarmolenko in. Because Everton's just been taken over in real life but, um, by um, ex-Arsenal shareholder Missouri, and he's a 1.3 billionaire. Um, so we got some tuts. There's no reason why we couldn't sign the like, likes of Yarmolenko now. So he is going to be in the side today. Baines comes back in. Can Romano Lukaku produce the goods? Armband is with Ross Bartley. He is our captain now. And we are up against some decent players. Their captain is a card, as you can see. Mello and Condobria in the middle. Vidic and Miranda in the middle. I know Vidic is retired in real life, but obviously we started this and he's still there. Can we produce something? We bloody well need to because we've been absolute shit so far in this. So let's see what we can do. Extended highlights of this one. It's only going to be one one game in the um, in this episode up against the blue and black stripes of Inter Milan, the traditional stripes in the San Siro. Can we boss them? Can we actually score some goals? Would be something. We haven't. We've been very much goal shy, not been able to score any goals. Ross Bartley's the only one who's really looked like scoring for us, and he has banged a few berries in um, in the course of it. There's a Cardi and there's Ross Bartley. Doesn't he look, doesn't he look the part with the iron band on? Want to see that in real life, please, Roberto Martinez, if you've got anything about you. But you're going to come under a bit of pressure now from the new owners because we're not going to accept shit and we're not going to accept sort of 11th, 12th in the table. Not with a billionaire in charge. You'll be on your off ski, Mr. Martinez, I tell you. We'll be back sipping your sangria and your... Um, Piaia Rice back in Spain if you don't watch it mate. We're back to Wigan. They'll probably be in the conference then or something. Come on then. Let's really go for it then. Gotta be pumped up for this one. Gotta be focused. It's a new dawn. We're saying we've been taken over as well, so. Well in. Bartley, good start. Coleman, lovely, Gerard Delefeu, cheese on the whip, oh, hanged him, don't let him settle, Jean Malenko number four, wasn't it, oh, he's got number four on his back, Darren Gibson's old number one, insult to him, comparing him to Darren Gibson, the old drunken hit and run driver. That's the only headline he's wrote in the last two and a half years at Everton. Still, could be worse, I suppose. He could have been tapping up 15 year old girls and giving them a length behind a Chinese takeaway. What do you think of this spare rib, love? What do you think of me chick sweet and sour chicken balls? Not a lot, I'm only 15 years old. <laughs> Akaki, good. Oh, nice. Seamus Coleman. Needs something from him in the, in the end, though. Yarma. Overlap with Leighton. Lovely ball in. Oh, God, that's a lovely ball in. Coleman. Oh, Rip G. He's over the bar. Good stuff from Everton. What ball in from Leighton. Look at the whippage on that. That had real whip dream topping. And then Coleman. Can't keep it down. High five over the bar. And the 60 grand from Sligo Rovers. 
That's nice again. So the Kaku's finding the space wide though. Want them in the middle really. Coleman always seems to be the man who's got space here. Yarmolenko! Oh, good drive from Andre Yarmolenko. Baines. Spartacus comes in and chimes off. Baines with a real whip. Oh! Oh, I want drop in the box for Romano Lukaku. Good hunting in packs here from Everton. And Lukaku gets his something out of it. Back again. Mo Bezic on the roll. Bezic! Oh, not very good on his left, but it's worth a pot. And the Bosnian. Really good effort. Really good stuff from Everton here. Never coming back on the left though. He did get a bit of bend on it, but not enough. Not the bother hand Handanovic. Not slack. Giving away the foul. First time they've really been in our areas. And they scored. Joe Robles flapping along on the back stick. And they scored from a direct free kick. And there's Green. And they're having the bloody selfie stack and all. Photo bomb of you in a minute of a purple dildo. Plenty of them are ain't good as sun. Don't you worry about that. Bartley can't get away. Game good play, Gerard Delafeu. It's a ball in. Oh, Yarmolenko was there. Lukaku. Oh, what a save, Mandanovic. Right on the break. Well, maybe biased, but I don't think we deserve to be a goal down there. Free kick was conceded, and they put it in the back of the onion bag. Dominated the ball, really. What can we do in this second half to make it any better? Gerard had the best of games over there. Let's get Kevin Morales, Morales on. Good save. Big hand from Joe Robles. Big figure in the goal. Keeps Everton in the game. Kevin Marias. Well, ball in and we're back on terms. Jamale. Oh, what's it been flagged offside? Distraught figure, I suppose it's offside. Oh, he's missed. Thought it was in the back of the net. Really did. Thought it was in the back of the net. Looked like it was. Baines. That's nice. That's very nice. Oh, Bartley can't get it in. Yellow card given here. Who's that to? That Mo Bezic getting a card? Must be. It's Potticino, the ref again. We've seen him quite a few times. Oh, I like one from Mohamed Bezic. On Philippe Mello, let him know. Corner kick, Everton. Into the melting pot from Bartley. Baines! Oh, what a drive from Leighton Baines. Loved to have seen that nestling. Would have been a real joy. Struck it, sweet. Good save, Andanovic. Cleverly with a bit of spunk in him. Lukaku! Oh! Keep it with a touch as he went to chip him. What a chance. That was surely the game on a very big stick. And then we muck at the throw. We get it clear. Another big header in there though. Surely caught late there, Raf. Nothing given. Four minutes to go. Lukaku had the guilt edge chance. 
Montoya taking his time to get off. Well, come on, whichever way. Ambrosia Custard going off. Marias. Got a bit of speed. He's not been on long. Lovely ball in, Dembele. Lukaku. Lukaku still. Ah. Oh. Jeez. There. Oh, offside coming back again, Romano. Oh, that's tight. Bloody hell, I know. One of the mafia, aren't you? Come on. Get a little cheesy one here. Oh. Getting near the business end now. Well, business end been and gone, mate. Rom again. Stand it up. Dembele this time. This time we do get the deserved equaliser. And there it is. And the fans are celebrating. And the young striker, Musa Dembele, has finally breached Handanovic's guard. And we've got one. Rom deserves some plaudits. He's worked hard today up top. Really has. Look at that battling from Big Rom and Olukaku. Ball into the box. It was a good one. Unlucky with the header. But it fell nicely and he's put it into the empty net. And we've got our just desserts. Bearing in mind where they are in the table, this would be a good point. It is away from home. It's not a good as don't forget. Oh, nervy defending though, can we hang on? Well in, don't let out for a corner, it's a corner kick and Everton showing the nerves there. A team that haven't won many games. And there it is, we've hung on, 1-1, one, one. great result in Italy, well done boys, we were the better side really, we deserved at least a point in my opinion, a couple decent saves in the second half from Rob Les, I suppose, but we did batter Handanovic and he made a couple really crucial saves from Romelu Lukaku, and a good one from Leighton Baines in that second half, good game of football, man of the match has gone on Moussa Dembele as always, what a joke. Typical football game sort of stats, those. Let's have a look at the table. Don't expect we've done anything for us. Wolfsburg carry on. They win 3-0 at Monaco. Big win for Sampdoria. Big win for Ajax over Boca Juniors. We're up a couple. We're 11th place. We're still only four points off the top four. Um, top three. But it's Wolfsburg running away with it. They are six points clear. And it's Feyenoord at the bottom. It was a team that we really did have a ding-dong game against. And don't forget, we lost to the Lady Boys, the Red Diamonds, um, who were second from bottom. So, I don't know who's up next, but you'll have to come back for episode 9 for that. Who have we got up next? Nice break before we're at home to Monaco. So, the multi-millionaires are in town. Monaco, they are 5th, we are 11th. It's going to be a tough old game. But you have to come back for that one in episode 9. Cheers for viewing dudes as always. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And if you ain't subscribed, then sub already. Why the hell not? Cheers. Yeah, yeah.